Hi, this is part 4 in loops in cshop.net. In this video, we will write the program to find the sum of 4 digit number and check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. So initially, first of all, here for example, if I try to write one number, if I ask you to read the number, how to read this number? It is 1234. So here 4 is in units place, 3 is in tens place, 2 is in hundreds place, 1 is in thousands place. Is it clear? Generally, whenever we do any mathematical operations, we will generally start from units plus. For example, if I write 12 plus 3, the answer is 15. Means we added 3 to 2, units plus number. So, if I ask you to write a program to find the sum of 4 digit number, generally, first of all, we have to catch the units plus number 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 1. If you think in this manner only, we can write what? Logic clearly. So, we already know the difference between by and what? Modulus. By will give us quotient and modulus will give us what? Reminder. Any number modulus 10 will give us what? Reminder. That is units place number. Any number modulus 10, it will give us units place number. Is it clear? Any number by 10. So here these two will play the major role. One is number modulus 10, other one is number by 10. Number modulus 10 is used to identify the units place number. Number by 10 is used to remove the identified number. If you want to remove the identified number, you use by operator. If you want to identify the units place number, use modulus operator. Why 10 means generally this uh, decimal number system represented with what? 10. That is why we are dividing by 10. So here, let us write one program. So initially I will declare one variable for number, int number is equal to 1234. And now as I want to display the sum of the numbers, 4 digit numbers, I have declared one more variable to find the sum. Initially sum is 0. As I need to find the sum of individual digits of the given 4 digit number, so I have to rotate the loop for 4 times. So initially i is equal to 1, i less than equals to 4, i plus plus. So bracket open, bracket close. Right here, uh, initially I want to declare one more variable for number. So int r is equal to 0. And uh, here, I want to find the remainder. So any number modulus 10 will give us the units place digit. So 1234 modulus 10 will give us 4. If you want to identify the units place number, use number modulus 10. If you want to remove the identified number, use number by 10. These two logic is very very important to do different types of programs. For example, if I want to find the uh, sum of 4 digit numbers, or if I want to find the sum of first number and last number, or if you want to find the sum of middle digits, or if you want to find the sum of the squares of the digits of the given 4 digit number, or if you want to find the sum of the cubes of the digits of the given 4 digit number, or if you want to reverse the given 4 digit number. All these programs, these two uh, logic is very very important. Number modulus 10 and number by 10. So, whenever you find the remainder, here I will add that remainder to what? R. Sum is equal to sum plus R. Now, I want to finally display the sum. Console dot right line of, here I will write the sum. So, here let us see how the program is executing. Initially, I have taken one variable for number and one for r, remainder, one for sum and this is i. Is it clear? So, here I have taken number, this is number and this is r and this is sum and this is i. So, initially number is here 1234. Sum is, uh, r is initially 0, remainder is initially 0, and sum is initially 0, and i is initially 1. Right, so here int i is equal to 1, means what? First time we are rotating the loop, to get the units place number. So number modulus 10, number modulus 10 means, here 1234 modulus 10. So here you will get the remainder, remainder is how much? 4. So here r is how much? 4. Right, so you got the units place number. Now, sum is initially 0. 0 plus 4 is how much? 4. 
so your sum is how much four right so number number is equals number by ten number by ten means one thousand two hundred thirty four by ten is one twenty three so your number is one twenty three right now again rotate the loop so i is two means what second time we are rotating the loop to get the unit place number the unit place number is three here so now one twenty three modulus ten here you say 123 modulus 10 means the remainder is what 3 so r is how much 3 right so sum is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 so sum is 7 right and number is equal number by 10 number is 123 123 by 10 is 12 by will use as the quotient so here the number is 12 now i i is how much 3 means what Third time we are rotating the loop to get the unit place number. That is two. So number number is twelve. So here twelve modulus ten. Uh, so here you can see the remainder is what two. So here r is how much two. Right. Now sum is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Right. Now number number is twelve. Twelve by ten is one. So here the number is one. Right now, i is how much? Four. Means what? Fourth time we are rotating the loop to get the units plus number. That is one. So here you can see here one modulus ten. One modulus ten. Remainder is one. If the numerator is less than denominator, quotient is zero. Remainder is numerator. So here r is how much? One. And sum is how much? Nine. Nine plus one. Sum is ten. Is it clear? Number number is one one by ten. That is what zero. So number is zero, and i is how much five. Means fifth time we are trying to rotate the loop. So five less than equals to four. Condition is what false. Come outside and print the sum. I hope you understood. Let us execute the same problem. So here you can see. So here I will try to. Let's see what the program. Press F5. So here you see the sum of the four digit number is ten. I hope you understood. Now I want to write a program to find the sum of the squares of the digits. So here what I will do, I will declare one more variable. Sum of the squares means four square plus three square, something like this. First of all, I want to find four square. Uh, four into four plus three square. Three into three plus two square two into two plus one square one into one. Right, so I will declare one more variable here. Uh, something like square. Initial square is what zero. So how to find the square? Square is equals to r into r. Now I want to find the sum plus what square. Is it clear? So press F five. Same problem. Here I need to keep the semicolon. Same program. Here you see, the output is thirty. Four square is sixteen. Sixteen plus nine. How much? Twenty-five. Twenty-five plus four. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine plus one. Thirty. Right. Similarly, if I ask you to write a program to find the sum of the cubes of the digits, so here I will declare the variable as cube. Initial cube is zero. And here I will declare q is equals to r into r into r, right? So here sum is equal sum plus what? Cube. Same problem. So here you see, one thousand two hundred thirty-four, four cube plus three cube plus two cube plus one cube. The answer is hundred. Now we will we need to see how to write a program to check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. So first of all, we must know what is Armstrong number. Armstrong number means sum of the cubes of the digits. Sum of the cubes of the digits is equals to given number. Then that number is called as Armstrong number. For example, if I give one fifty three, one fifty three means something like this: one cube. Plus five cube. Plus three cube. 
So here what is 1 cube? 1 cube is 1. Plus 3, 5 cube is 125. Plus 3 cube is 27. So what is the sum of the cubes of the digits? 153. If the given number is equal to sum of the cubes of the digits, then that number is called an Armstrong number. Is it clear? So let us see, we will write the program for that. So here I initially I will declare one variable for number like 153. So now I will uh, take one more variable for R. Reminder, initial R is 0. And I will take one more variable for what? Cube. Initial cube is 0. Now I will take one more uh, uh, variable to find what? Sum. Int sum is equal to 0. Now how many digits are there? 3 digits. So I have to rotate the loop how many times? 3 times. So here you can see. For int i is equals to what? 1. i less than equals to 3. i plus plus. Let bracket open. Bracket close. And here I want to find the remainder. R is equal to number modulus 10. And then I want to find remove the identified number. Number is equal to number by 10. And then I want to find the cube. Cube is equals to R into R into R. Is it clear? And now I want to find the sum. Sum is equals to sum plus what? Cube. Is it clear? Now if the sum is equals to given number. So outside the for loop I will write. If number double equals to what? Sum. Then I want to print console dot write line of Armstrong number. Else I want to print not an Armstrong number. Not Armstrong number. So now so let us see how to execute the program. So initially I will declare one uh, variable for number and uh, for r and for cube and this is sum and this is i. So this is your number, this is your r, reminder and the cube is r into r into r, this is sum and this is i. So initially number is 153 and initial r is 0. And initial cube is cube is zero. And initial sum is zero. Initial i is one. Now here you see. So number modulus ten. Number means one fifty three modulus ten will give us remainder. So you will get three. So three cube is twenty seven. So sum is zero. Zero plus twenty seven is how much? Twenty seven. Is it clear? And uh, here you can see i is uh, number, number is number by 10, 153 by 10, you will get what? 15. And uh, i, i is 2, it means that second time we are rotating the loop to get the units plus number. Now you will get 15 modulus 10, you will get what? 5. Right. So 5 cube is how much? 125. Right. And sum 27 plus 125, you will get what? 152 and number 15 by 10 you will get what 1 and i i is how much 3 means third time we are rotating the loop so number is 1 modulus 10 you will get what 1 and uh, remainder you will get what 1 and sum is 152 cube is 1 again 1 into 1 into 1 1 152 plus 1 you will get the sum is what 153 a number is 1 uh, by 10, you will get what? 0. Is it clear? And i is how much? 4. Means, 4th time we are rotating the loop. So, 4 less than equals to 3. Condition is what? False. So, uh, it will come out of the for loop if number. So, a number is how much? 0 equals to sum. Actually, when you try to rotate the loop for 3 times, the number will become what? 0. So, what I will try to do here is, I will declare one variable called what? Temp. Into temp is equals to number. And here I am comparing with what? Temp. Any variable you can take some temporary variable. And I am storing the number initially in temp. If temp is equals to sum, then you can print that one as Armstrong number. For example, you will say not Armstrong number. Because I have given the number as 151. For example, if I give 153, you will get the output as Armstrong number. I hope you understood. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. In the next video, we will discuss about some other examples. Thank you. Have a nice day.